Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Academia School Simulator where in the previous episode we were messing around with bus stops and that's something that we'll be focusing on in this episode too but we also planned off the left hand side which is not entirely set in stone I mean some of this may change we might even perhaps remove these left hand side classrooms and instead just put a lot of facilities there which is what a lot of people suggested in previous comments so I'll probably go ahead and do that but we'll see how we go on because this is quite frankly a futurous problem Anyway, as I said about the bus stops, we need to change these up because they do work. So when students arrive, they are arriving at these bus stops and then going in. But it's the leaving part that we had a problem with because these seats only have two spaces for students. And, well, as you can clearly see, we have, well, a total of, I believe, 55 each for each student. So, yeah, we need quite a number of benches and that will require, well quite a lot of benches all the way up to the left hand side here so let's crack on with that one what I want to do is go over to our reports bus usage and zero this out like so and that will give us more income but more importantly we'll have to get rid of all these ones here so over to objects and then to dismantle we're going to dismantle all of those there we also then need to work out roughly what sort of size we need so remove all of those sections and I'm just going to wait until this is sorted so if we have say if we work on the principle that we need sort of 60 60 seats which I don't think is the case but let's rather overdo it you know nothing excels like excess and if we need 60 seats then we need 30 of these benches which is going to be quite a task in itself let's go over to our blueprints and uh, object outline I guess and if we had say a row of eight and then going back up well, actually not row of four is the probably that's probably the way of doing it. so two four six eight sixteen then thirty two so is that right? 2, 6, 8, 16, and 32 is that. So we'd need double that for every bus stop. That's not happening. I mean, we're not going to do it. Because uh, that would just go over. It'd be, that would be crazy. I mean... two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 40 to there. What if we do that? And then the bus stop will actually be there. So it'll be 11 and then 10. Is that right? Yeah. And then 11 and then 11. So it'll be that. The problem is that it goes all the way to the left. And that's still not big enough. Hmm... Do we need to do something like that? Is it just going too far? The answer is yes. Are we still going to do it? Probably right. First test. What we'll do is go to zones and all. Go to bus. General bus stop. This is now going to become a general bus stop. Like so. Okay. That works out. Um, do I want to shift it over a little bit to get more space around there we probably do and we do have the space so building concrete like so like that I think but we want a bit more space around it that is I believe the correct one all right so we'll let them crack on with that objects benches well bus stop first which will go there, is that right? There, followed by the benches. And there we go. A lot of money on that, but I think spending it in the right place. So that's getting built. We'll erase all those blueprints. And that doesn't have a bus stop in it. Ah, remove zone. And I guess we could have it just go like that. Why can't we? Why can't we build a general bus stop? 
because we have to do it like that. There we go. So there's a bus stop. Okay. Let's see if that works. Back to reports. Bus usage. Because if that works, fine. I don't know why we would separate it in the first place anyway. Okay, so we are working on good teachers. We do want to increase the amount of teachers that we have uh, in terms of grading as well. Um, monitors, we've got eight. Here, well, let's check our delinquency. Delinquency is actually down to 13, so very happy with that. That is trending downwards. No rowdy students and only one truant. That is fine. I still think that we should probably fire one of these counsellors because they just don't. Yeah, so, yeah, so I think it's uh, last in, first out is the option there. Yeah, we don't need that many many people, uh, councillors and stuff, so we'll get rid of those. Um, bus stops in, that's fine. In terms of our sanitation, it's still a bit dirty and it is, I wouldn't say trending that way, but certainly another janitor will help on that front as well and then we'll go ahead and start to repair some of these things here. Yes, as I said, on the left-hand side here, we've got the two extra classrooms. It's very unlikely that we'll have both of these, like, laid out as such. What we'll probably end up doing is, like, removing this and having it go, I'll, sh I'll, I'll pr actually plan it like I, like it's probably going to be instead. So there will be a gap of two, I think. Yeah, I'll have a gap of two around the outside. Although to be fair, when we expand, it probably will change. This will go up like so. This will come actually across like that, because um, the entrances will be there, and then there'll be an entrance here to a big room, and then we'll have the sim similar thing on this side. That's probably what we'll do. Let's just erase all this and see if it all fits in. It should be fine, so we'll go to wall outline, wall come right up, and then across like so. It'll then also be altered slightly because that'll be across there, that'll be across there, and then we have basically options for two rooms like so. So we'd probably have something like another library, another common room, and then perhaps another AV and computer lab up there, although we may be able to get away with something like that and have three things in all that's cutting it a little bit fine. So I haven't yet decided, and perhaps maybe that is a big common room. See, this is where the whole build it as we go thing starts to fall down because a lot of this was learning experience and indeed still is, although not so much, uh, not, not exactly like it was at the beginning of the series. But there's a lot of things that we would do differently and probably build in a different order. Obviously, the clinic will have to go over on the left hand side or somewhere. I did discuss about putting up there, but we'll see. And that means then we can expand the kitchen, but uh, sorry, the the cafeteria, and then put the kitchen in here. At the moment, though, because of where we've sp how we've split them up, we don't really need to do that. Let me just double check in department here, and we now have there you go, doctorate. Yes, we can get doctors, which we've got really good grading in the history there. So what I'll probably do is go back through once we've got it maxed out, though, when we've got better teachers, because we've now got good teachers. So. Um, Spend some money to access some good teachers when clicking find more at least one doctorate teacher will appear We've got better teachers spend some money accessing better teachers clicking find more at least two doctorate uh, sorry, Two doctorate degree teachers and one special teacher will appear and then best teachers you get two special teachers as well So we do want to get all of those that we can because obviously that's all about our grading and rating and uh, teaching, which is the main thing. You can see on day three here, and we're over 30 on the majority of these, so that is fine. In fact, some of them are trending towards uh, nearing the 40, so that's pretty good. And let's have a quick look at the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. So there's a couple of gaps in there. It seems to be the freshmen are the most balanced out of them all. Although they're all about the same, aren't they? They're all about the same, realistically. Anyway, let's uh, double check our sanitation. Still a bit of dirt there. Still a bit of dirt. We've got 12 delinquents now, so that's trending downwards. Definitely having the extra monitors was worth it. Being able to catch any uh, delinquent students is the way forward. Currently on dismissal now. So, obviously... A lot of them are just sitting in the common room, waiting around, going there. A lot of them are saying they don't have seats, and then eventually, oh, actually getting some food as well, even though it's dismissal. Quick snack before they go. Sadly, none of them are using the vending machines. We've only sold a little bit of uh, a little bit there, and they are now heading towards the bus stop, I think. And yes, so they are sitting around. And some of them say they can't find seats, which is interesting. Although, oh no, most of them are streaming into that bus there. 
I can't count the exact number of students, but I'm not convinced that bus <laughs> would hold that many students. Looking at the ones that are walking home, it's probably a 50%, it's probably 50%, but there was probably close to 100 students got in that bus. Um, <laughs> so having one bus stop does not work, but if we continue expanding here and set these bus stops up to be uh, the different bus stops, I think that would work. So that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Um, we'll wait until the next day in order to get that to get that money as well. It looks like to be a fairly clean facility now, and yeah, it's only 17 bits of dirt. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So we'll extend these to the left. We will have to have a little bit more spaces in between. So I'll get the planning tool out and check that out now. So let's go over to oh, actually negative funding. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And that's because oh, the bus stop comes along. Uh, the bus stop comes along. The bus comes along. And, yeah, the majority got off, got off there and went there, so that's good. So, I mean, the question is, do we just extend this bus stop? We could just extend the bus stop all the way along here, couldn't we? Although I think having separate ones is probably the way forward. Mm, you know what? I don't know why I'm really questioning it, because at the end of the day, you get the money back, don't you? So we might as well just, you know, do what we can that way. You know, build it, and if it doesn't work, we just get rid of it. We've not lost any money other than what we spend on the seating. Uh, sorry, on the on the the actual flooring. Okay, so over to object center bench, and we'll place a bench like so. Total of five in a row, and we'll put them in like so. Followed by a bus stop, which will go in there, and then zones. Remove zone, bus stop, because we want. Freshman. Hang on. Remove zone. Oh yeah, we want the gap around them, don't we? Uh, no, we'll leave it. So that's classroom. Freshman bus stop. Sophomore. And junior. Bit dangerous putting these in before I've actually done the rest, but the math should work out. And there we go. I think that's correct. And if that works, I'll put the flooring in properly. Okay. Yep, yeah, looks to be fine. And then we just need to put the, the tiles in around it. Right. We've still got that set up, I believe, as well, in our reports, bus usage. Yes, everything is set to maximum. Total is 219 because we did accept the extra students there, so that's fine. In terms of grants, our to-do list is to research, buy land, and then buy school lot one. Although, to be fair, that's in probable at the moment. In fact, it's not even improbable, it's actually impossible, because I believe it's ten grand. Uh, there we go, the bus stops are now legitimate, because we've got these in here. Even though in reality, they have to walk about as far as the edge of the map anyway to get in, so... Yeah, interesting. Right, we're going to go over to our grants, and we're going to double-check. I'm pretty confident, yeah, buy land is ten grand, but I think... Do we go for better teachers and best teachers first? I mean, the faster we get those in, the better, really. We're going to get 11 grand tomorrow, which means we can... What's ad campaign? Self-promotion isn't the classiest move, but Desperate Times Cause of Death Measures increased prestige by 50, and it's only it's only two grand. Well, we might as well go ahead and do that as well. Things that we haven't got, to think with labour, we're not going to do that because we've got the amount of staff that we need for most of the things, as well as we want to run the counselling rather than that. We haven't got cell school, fire at will and expelled. Unlocks mass firing checkbox and expel button. We don't want to expel, we want to teach and reform and go do that way. Haven't got expand population because we are nowhere near the six and seven hundred mark. Haven't got byland either, but we do want to get that. Haven't got landscape architect or fancy fencing, nor do we have anything like naming rights or renaming rights because we don't need it. 
and better teachers we still have to get. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. A couple of bullying incidents, as you might imagine. Looks like the vice principal is actually in now, unlike previous. And on the phone, what they're doing? So they're on the phone, rubbing it to the ear, and good grief, that's some furious typing. We are on max speed. So they're going between being on the phone to getting reports, and then using the computer, and then standing in the corner, because yes, why not? So let's have a quick look. Down to 11 delinquents, so we are trending the right direction. There is lots of dirt around the place, but we have 12 janitors. Toilet usage is a thing. Clinic usage, still only got the two nurses, so that's all we need. Kitchen is fine. We don't need to put it on superior rations. Rations? Quality. Um, we've got cafeteria usage. It just gives a read out of what we've got. Satisfaction is really good. No one happy, but only one dropped out. So I don't know. That's, that's obviously an edge case scenario there. A smoker has been caught. Let's see. And in the toilets once again. Yeah, so the monitor's going to come in and take them to the principal's office. That means that now we should probably have another option for smoker. No, I guess they've just been caught already. Yeah, still three bullies free, but we're uh, progressing on that one. Checking out our students here. Truant's being caught there as well. Day four on about 40. So hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be trending towards that 90 odd overall. It looks to be the case. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Don't want to build the bus stop. Don't want to get anything else built. Don't want to get more of these because there's no real point. And in terms of achievements, have we got any golds? We do have golds. Yeah. We've actually got the same amount of golds if you've got silvers, which is interesting. Um, have we got the abandoned school ranking? See, there's pretty well, reach rank 250 and rank 10. So you've got Mushroom League. Oh, you've got, sorry, you've got Seed League, Algae League, Fern League, Mushroom League, Conifer League, and Ivy League. <laughs> Um, I know that one's a thing. Are, are the rest a thing? <laughs> I can't imagine it being Mushroom League, but I mean, by all means, if it is, then yeah, fair enough, I guess. Uh, so the ad campaign research is complete. Uh, we also have naming rights, which is one hour to do, which means you can rename the school. We might as well research it. It doesn't cost any money and it gives us the option. So yeah, I don't think we are, are going to rename it. I'm going to ha happy with what it is at the moment, to be fair. So yeah, there you are. Garbage looks to be filling up to each one of these. Let's have a double check of that sanitation. It is... Oh, no, they're not full. They're not maxed out, but certainly is a dirty place. And... Yeah, we'll have to sort that out. There's naming rights done, and we now have the other option for... Whoa, 10 grand? Is that... Ah! Oh, a local store wants to rename your school. They will give you 10 grand to change your name and slogan, replace... And then we can replace it. Ah. Oh, it's called the Dollar School Store. <laughs> right. Champions of cheap. <laughs> right, I probably should have read that. Um, I wonder if we can rename it. I guess we can. Um, yeah, renaming rights. Get your dignity back. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind. I, I don't mind at this stage. Um, there's something about maybe trending towards like an Ivy League school that is actually called dollar school store <laughs> champions of cheap as our motto that would be um pretty good <laughs> it's a bit of a kick in the face to the to our to our rival isn't it to who's our it just says rival school rank um I, we did get it I, I can i can't remember exactly what it was anyway so Heading towards the 8th period now, there you go, um, at least Better Teachers has been researched and we've got all of these bus stops in. Whether or not it will function, it, well, remains to be seen, but looking at the, I think, you know what, I do think we need some more, more janitors. One, two janitors, so we now have, I believe, 14 janitors. Yes, we have 14 janitors. We have more janitors than staff. Hmm. So that will hopefully clean that up. Ten delinquents now. Excellent. Trending downwards. No rowdy delinquent students. One truant, seven bullies, two smokers. That equals ten. Good. 
So, dismissal. Most are just chilling out. Doing a bit of art. In the common room. Getting some food, etc. But, here we go. So, a lot are already walking home. You can see that there. Even though we have set this up to... To go here. See that? They always say that they've got no place to sit, which is strange. And a lot of them walking off as well. And it's the same bus. So a lot just walk off anyway. I mean, it's their choice, I guess. And loads are going that way. Okay. I am making the executive decision, saying that that is fairly useless so remove 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 and we will then go to objects and dismantle and dismantle all of those objects we also need to remove that one and have a general bus stop which will go in there like so and we'll yeah we'll do that way because that's going to save us we're going to get loads of money from removing all of that and i just don't think we need all of those bus stops it didn't seem to be much of a difference if there is a fault then by all means let us know or if there's something I'm completely missing, but it did seem to be set up all right, so yeah. Um, trying to think, do we want to get rid of a lot of our teachers now? Mm, yes, but only once, but I think we've maxed the teacher grant stuff out. And, ooh, minus two grand, that's because of the bus stop, there you go, uh, the bus. And let's see, yeah, see the majority of students did come in that way, so that's, oh, did there? Did the majority of students come in there? A lot did, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. You can see they are working and sorting this out here. There is best teachers now available, so there's our extra bit of money, plus all of the removal of this. So we can now go for, oh, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. We go for best teachers six hours in order to complete that. But I think that is certainly something we should focus on. Not only will that increase our, our teaching abilities, but also... It'll give us better grading as well. <laughs> Dollar Star School with Champions of Cheap. Really? Yep, yep, really. Okay, over to our building then, and then to the grass. And we'll put the grass in like so. Obviously, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but I believe we'll remove the tiles first anyway. Yes, so you can dismantle the concrete tile. So, there you are. And it's getting dismantled. Excellent. And, oh, we also have some ill students. How many ill students do we have? Seven ill students in total, which is handy because we only have ten capacity. But there you are. So science is being taught. That's being sorted there. Sofa is broken. Let's repair that. That's also in need of repair. See, a lot of the stuff in here gets fixed automatically because we have all of the work uh, range and faster workers so when they're not working to build things they're basically chilling out in the lounge so they'll go ahead and repair it automatically anyway truth's being caught on a random event let's check this out so many of your monitors are demanding overtime pay i oh, if i had the money i'd pay them don't give in their demands six monitors leave oh well this is terrible so I can pay them half of what they're asking for, but that's a 50% chance at six leave. <sighs> I hate this type of thing. I want to pay them that. Why, why did we... That, uh, that would be nice if we had the option to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had the option to wait for another day. Anyway, the monitors grumble between themselves but accept your offer. So three grand spent, but and all the monitors, well, the six monitors stay, which is handy because we only have eight monitors anyway, and hiring those back would be very... Prohibitive. How much is it? It's uh, 1,800 each one. Ouch, that would sting the wallet. Speaking of wallet, it's currently got 66 generic units of currency in, and we don't have any bank loan. We could get a 50 grand bank loan now, but no, no. I do find that even this is like standard difficulty, but we did max out the amount of money that we got. Even still, it's a very front heavy game, isn't it? Like we had, we were right on the, right on the edge of what we could afford and what we could build um and there's some there was some certainly things we could have altered and changed but 
it was that there was a downhill slope for a long time where we didn't have enough money to clean the place we had to micromanage different bits and that was with the extra money that we got but now it's a case of we're just making so much money so it's a massive struggle at the start but once you've got all this other stuff it's it's you know the money's not really an issue it's just time and teaching now anyway we have finished the grant for the best teachers which means that we probably go for byland in the next day but i want to check out the department and see if there's any special one there's chris top wow so their degree is special and they have a hundred in their rating and you can see that some of these others have got doctorates and they are trending in the 80s so there's 85 there's 83 there's 89 and yeah we've got some obviously people with just masters which is 64 so we really want to get these these teachers then the difference being though we'd go from 644 per day to a thousand a day but as i mentioned money isn't really a big issue at this stage so you know we could make some cost cutting measures i mean we have it's repaired um we do have four workers we don't need the workers because they're not building anything we're not focusing on it. Don't know if there's anyone else we can get rid of. Janitor's probably not. There's a couple of truants there. We'll put them onto the counselling. I don't think getting rid of a counsellor would be the way forward. I don't think it will anyway. But, bus stops in. Bus usage is set. So everybody goes on it. It's two grand. I could, I could, do, I could do so much with that two grand. Many research, but is it worth it? Energy's high. It's, it's ten to four, and energy is not even mid midway. So do we need to use the bus stop? It's something I always ask myself. Like checking out the students. Energy's mid ground. Three quarters full, higher. That's under half, but still fine. Under half, but still okay. Over half, just under half, about half. Yeah, so because there's not a lot, because it's not a big school, I don't think we need the bus stop. Even though we spent all this time building it, I think having that money would be better. I'm going to see what happens when they leave. I want to see how many actually use the bus. But unless I'm missing something, it does seem to be a bit of a dodgy one. Yeah, see, they all just sort of pile around the centre there, and then they're all streaming in. So about half of them are leaving anywhere, not not via the bus. So I always go out of the department for some reason instead of the bis bit here. So yeah, I'm just going to save ourselves two and a bit grand because I think it would be worth it. Right, I think we will leave it there. Year 6, day 5, moving on to day 6. In terms of our students, you can see that we are pretty close to being in the 90s for every single one, if not in the 90s for every single one. It would be nice to max it out, but last year was certainly the best year that we've had in terms of grading. Um, Generic teaching facility, or sorry, the, the school formerly known as Generic Teaching Facility, now called Dollar Star School with the Champion of Cheap uh, <laughs> motto, is looking, it's set to be pretty good, I think, and, huh, <laughs> for some reason the monitor's just chilling on the bench there, and sleeping. Since when was that a behaviour? Anyway, we'll uh, leave it there. Next, <laughs> next episode, we will uh, crack on and see how far we get. We will almost certainly set up the research for land expansion and maybe even expand the land. Not that we plan on really doing much with it, but we'll see how we get on. As always, how we have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.